Okay, in this video we're going to make a model of benzene which allows the students to see the orbital cloud above and below the plane of the ring using 12 5 inch clear balloons for the orbitals and one black 260 balloon for the carbon framework. We're going to inflate the black balloon with five pumps of our Qualitex pump. One, two, three, four, five. Give it a slight burp and then go ahead and tie that off. Then leaves about four inches to four and a half inches uninflated on the balloon. Give it a good squeeze to kind of soften it. And then we're going to construct a six membered ring using four inch bubbles and then one inch bubbles that we're going to pinch twist. So starting at the end, we make a one inch bubble. We grab the nozzle and twist that into that joint. That's carbon one. We're going to make about a four inch bubble. That's about a four inch bubble. Followed by a one inch bubble. And we're going to carefully pinch twist that balloon, so that gives us two carbons of our six carbons. A four inch bubble. And we try to keep these bubbles as equal in size as we can because that gives us a better symmetric ring at the end. And that just takes practice. So a one inch bubble. So now we're up to three carbons. Here comes another four inch bubble, followed by a one inch bubble. One, two, three, four. Here's a four inch bubble. And another one inch bubble. So that's five carbons. One, two, three, four, five. Another four inch bubble. Followed by a one inch bubble. That's our sixth carbon. You can see the ring is about to sh take shape. It's our last, and see we're just about out of air, out of room. We make a four inch bubble, and we twist that into the first pinch twist. And now we have our six membered ring. For the extra balloon, we're going to carefully deflate. You just pinch the end, poke a small hole, let the air out. And we'll tie that off and cut off the excess. Okay. So now a beautiful symmetric six membered ring. Now to illustrate the orbitals interacting in the Pi system, we're going to take the 12 balloons two at a time. These are clear balloons. We put three pumps of air into each balloon. Okay. Tie those together. We start slipping those into the joints where there's the uh, pinch twist followed by the two four inch bubbles. And as you slip that in, you twist the pinch twist horizontal. Notice that fairly stabilizes it, locks it right in place. And we just keep doing that all the way around the ring. If you can't do both balloons in one hand like I'm doing now, you can easily do one at a time. Tie them both off individually, then tie them together. But I find this just saves a lot of time. And you just have one joint as you tie the two together. So it's less bulky that way. You can see now we just have room for one more. You can see these are fairly tight. They're actually overlapping. You can pass this around in class so your students can actually see with their own eyes that there's orbitals. They're forming electron clouds above and below the benzene ring. So this just tucks in. And then the 
final step is just to straighten it out so it's fairly flat. Well, that looks pretty good. So now we can see the plane of the benzene ring, the six-membered ring. We see the orbital interaction. We see the electron cloud above and below the plane of the ring. Very fast, very easy, and that's all there is to it.